Believe it or not, this is going to take your website from being buried on page 10 or worse, all the way to page one on Google. Sounds crazy, right? But stick with me because today I'm going to show you one super simple SEO strategy that works so well, Google won't be able to take its eyes off your site. This is the SEO strategy I use for all my clients. And the best part, it's not complicated. You don't need a huge budget or even a marketing degree. You just need to know how to stack the right pieces together. In just under 15 minutes, I'll show you the one critical piece you need to fix to get Google to notice your website, and I'll keep it super simple. Next, we'll dive into how to find the best keywords for your site so you can climb the rankings and actually see results. And finally, I will reveal how to create content that Google loves so your site can rank higher and get more traffic over time. By the end of this, you'll know exactly what to do to move from page 10 to page one and stay there. All right, if you're ready to build your way to the top, let's get started. Imagine this, you've got this bunch of sugar cubes and your job is to build the tallest structure that can handle rough weather. The problem, you only have a limited number of cubes. Now look at these two designs. Which one do you think would hold up better if they both use the same number of cubes? This one, of course. Why? Because it's built on a strong foundation with a solid structure that can handle anything, even bad weather. Your website needs to be built in the exact same way and include a strong structure with a solid foundation so it can handle the bad weather, which in this case is Google's constant algorithm changes. But how does that work for a website? Let me show you. To build a website that works like this, you need three types of pages. Number one, Top level pages. These are the main pages of your site that focus on your core services or product. I call them money pages because they're the ones that help bring in leads, sales or revenue. If you're a plumber, for example, your top level pages might include emergency plumbing services, drain cleaning, water heater services, bathroom plumbing, pipe repair and replacement. Number two, supporting pages. Supporting pages are extra pages that back up the top level pages. Their main job is to give more details, extra information, or support the website's main purpose. This helps make the site more trustworthy, useful, and easier for visitors to use. For example, under emergency plumbing services, supporting pages could be burst pipe repairs, emergency leak detection, after hours plumbing services. And for drain cleaning, you might include sewer line cleaning, clogged drain solutions, hydro jetting services. Number three, resource pages. Resource pages are web pages that offer helpful links, tools, or information about a specific topic and will also back up your top level pages. They often show up as blog posts, guides, or FAQs. These pages make a website more useful and reliable and can even help it rank higher on search engines by attracting links from other websites. To support our emergency plumbing service top page, for example, uh, resource pages could include how to shut off your water supply in an emergency. And for drain cleaning, DIY drain cleaning tips and when to call a plumber. Follow this process for all top level pages you have on your website. If building your website structure feels confusing, don't worry, I've got a simple tip to make it easier. But first, there's one more important concept you need to understand, siloing. Siloing is like organizing a bookshelf. Imagine each shelf is for a main topic like fiction or history and all the books on that shelf are related to that topic. For a website, siloing means connecting related pages under one main category to keep everything organized. To make this work, you need to link those pages together in a logical way. This helps both visitors and search engines understand your site better. Let's return to our plumbing example and look at the drain cleaning silo, which now needs to be interconnected. All you need to do is connect your supporting and resource pages by linking them to each other and make sure they also link back to your main top level page. At the same time, the top level page should link back to its supporting and resource pages. The most important part 
is to keep all the links within the same silo. Pages in one silo should not link to pages in another silo, just as if they were ring fenced. Here is how your links might look on a resource page in our drain cleaning silo, for example. Check out our complete drain cleaning services for all types of clogs. For tougher blockages, our hydro jetting services are a powerful solution. If you have smaller clogs, try these DIY tips before calling a professional. This setup shows search engines that your site is a strong resource on the drain topic, which helps your pages rank higher in search results. Siloing isn't just about being organized. It's a smart way to make your website better for search engines and visitors. It will help you rank higher, get more traffic and turn visitors into customers. If you're not sure how to plan your website structure and define your silos, here is a simple hack. Go to ChatGPT and type the following prompt. Using the silo structure method, can you create a website structure for A and then enter your business type? Please include top level pages, supporting pages, resource pages. Provide a detailed example. ChatGPT will give you a detailed structure you can use as a starting point. With this approach, you'll be able to create a website that's both user-friendly and great for SEO. Here's a final tip. If you already have a website and want to check its current structure, try using a tool called Screaming Frog. Run your website through it, then go to the Visualization tab and select the Crawl Tree Graph. This will give you a visual map of your website structure, which is super useful for spotting any gaps. The free version lets you crawl up to 500 pages for free, which should be plenty for most of you. I've put the link to it in the description below. Now that you know how to structure your website so it's search engine friendly, it's time to build the pages you need for it. But before I show you how to do that, there's an important concept you need to understand. Without this, your pages won't rank well on search engines. This concept is called domain authority. In the SEO world, domain authority is a score that predicts how well a new page on your website will rank on Google or other search engines. Think of it like your website's reputation. The higher the score, the more likely your pages will rank high. Domain authority ranges from 0 to 100 and is based on three main factors. The number and quality of backlinks, links from other websites pointing to your site. How much visitors from search engines come to your site organically. And whether your site avoids spammy practices like trying to trick search engines. Let me illustrate with two examples. The first one is Forbes.com, which I'm sure you've all heard of. Using one of my SEO tools, SEMrush, I can see that Forbes.com has a domain authority score of 100, which is huge. They have millions of high quality backlinks and get tons of organic visitors. They also follow the rules and don't try to trick search engines. Because of this, when Forbes publishes a new article on their website, it usually ranks very high very quickly, even for very competitive keywords. Now let's compare this to newtechmagazine.com, which is similar to Forbes, but nowhere near as popular. According to SEMrush, it has a domain authority score of 11 and gets no organic traffic. With such a low score, it's almost impossible for this site to rank for even mildly competitive keywords. This kind of problem is common for small business websites. Many owners build a basic site with just a few pages and no clear plan or structure. They try to rank for big competitive keywords like plumber or personal injury lawyer, but they don't have the authority to compete, so they can't rank for those keywords. If this sounds like your website, don't worry. I'm going to share a simple trick to help you understand your own website authority and how to use this information for your website to rank better. Let's get started. First, you'll need to use a free tool from Google called Google Search Console. Hopefully you already have it set up on your website. If not, go ahead and install it. It's completely free. Google Search Console is designed to help website owners improve how their site shows up in Google search results and perform better overall in search engines. If you already have it installed, here is what you need to do next. Open Google Search Console and click on the Performance tab in the menu on the left-hand side. Set the time range to the last three months and make sure only the clicks option is selected. Look for the day with the highest number of clicks and the day with the lowest. 
Add these two numbers together, then divide by two to find the average. For example, if your highest day had 137 clicks and your lowest day had 59 clicks, you'd calculate it like this. 137 plus 59 equals 196. Divide that by two and you get 98. So your average number of clicks is 98. Once you've worked your average, compare it to this chart. In this example, the average of 98 falls into the level 50 on the chart. This means you should focus on targeting keywords with a search volume between 50 and 100. Trying to rank for keywords with higher search volumes will be too difficult with your current site authority. By following this method, you'll know exactly which keywords you can realistically target and start improving your website rankings fast. But how do you know which keywords to target? Sure, you could use a keyword tool, but here is a better idea. Check out what your competitors are doing. Let's say you're a personal injury lawyer in San Diego and you want to show up on Google. Start by searching for personal injury lawyer San Diego and look at the top results. That's the site Google thinks is the best match. Now head over to your favorite SEO tool. I personally use SEMrush. If you don't have an SEO tool like SEMrush, I recommend you start using one. I know this is a paid tool, but they've got a free trial version you can use to do this type of research. I've put a link to it in the description below. In SEMrush, go to Domain Overview, then type in the URL of the top result and hit search. You'll get a full breakdown of that site in seconds. Click on Organic Search Traffic and then on the Pages tab and you'll see their most popular pages. For example, one of their top pages called California Headlight Laws You Need to Know gets a thousand visits a month. Click the keywords link for that page and you'll see all the keywords that bring visits to it organically. Here is the key. Narrow down the keyword search volume to match your site's strength. Based on a previous exercise, if your site can target keywords with a search volume of 50 to 100, use the filter to find keywords in that range. And boom, you've got a list of keywords you can target. Do this with your top five competitors and you'll have an awesome list of keywords to target. Organize the keywords into groups that fit the different silos of your site. As you start ranking for these keywords, your site traffic will grow and so will your website authority. This means you can aim for bigger, more competitive keywords later on. Building your website this way creates a solid foundation. Your top level pages will rank higher because they're supported by well-optimized content pages within your silos. If you're starting a new site, create your top level pages and some of your supporting pages at the same time. The top level pages might not rank right away, but they'll benefit from the supporting pages over time. Not sure what your top level pages should be? Just check out your competitors who rank well. They've already done the hard work for you. Copy their structure, no need to overthink it. Once you've identified the right keywords, it's time to create content pages that rank for them. Let's continue with a lawyer example. I can see their California headlight laws you need to know page ranks number one for the keyword are yellow fog lights legal in California, which I can quickly verify on Google. But here is the catch. This page might not rank first because the content is perfectly optimized. It might be getting help from external factors like backlinks. To find the best optimized page for a keyword, search the keyword in quotes like this. This shows which page has the best on-page optimization without counting other factors like links. When you do this, you might see a different page ranking at the top, which in this case is a page from answer.com. Even if the content of this page is short, it's better optimized for this particular keyword because the title and header of the page match the keyword exactly, which is often all you need when trying to rank for low competition keywords. If you want to rank for a keyword, create a page that's better than the one you've just found using this quote technique. Add more details, make it more helpful, so it will rank higher than the best possible page. You'll know it's working when you create a new page and it starts ranking quickly. That's a sign Google trusts your site. When that happens, check your site's authority in Google Search Console once more to find out if 
your authority has jumped a level. If it has, start going after higher volume keywords to keep building on that success. As keywords get harder to rank for, you'll need to step up your optimization game and optimizing a page with just the right page title or header might not be enough. Use the quotes trick for every keyword you want to rank for and carefully study the pages that are already ranking well. Look at their page URL, titles, headers, images, and other pieces of content like reviews or case studies. Once again, make your page better than those you find. Don't reinvent the wheel, just improve on what's working. If you stick with this, you'll get great results that will last the test of time.